Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. And here we go, right into the presidential debate. Let's listen right now. Let's cut all of the... Let's cut the sound. Let's go right to George Bush. Reflecting our budgets. I want to take one half of the surplus and dedicate it to Social Security. One quarter of the surplus for important projects. And I want to send one quarter of the surplus back to the people who pay the bills. Good. I want everybody who pays taxes to have their tax rates cut. Good. And that stands in contrast to my worthy opponent's plan, which will increase the size of government dramatically. Mm. His plan is three times larger than President Clinton's proposed plan eight years ago. Oh, this is It's a good. plan that will have uh, 200 new programs as well, or expanded programs. It'll create 20,000 new bureaucrats. In other words, it empowers Washington. And tonight you're going to hear mm. that my passion and my vision is to empower Americans to be able to make decisions for themselves in their own lives. So good. I take it by your answer then, Mr. Vice President, uh -huh. in your uh, an interview with in the New York Times when you said that you questioned whether or not Vice President, uh, 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 Governor Bush was experienced. Come on, get the, the goofball out of there. Let them talk. Policy differences. Uh, yes, Jim. Uh, I said yes, that Jim. See, his personal friends, plan, for example, government media complex. Yes, Jim. Of whether it's you the shouldn't right know, Jim. for the country. And let me give you an example of, of what I mean. Uh -huh. Under uh, Governor Bush's uh, tax cut proposal, Mm -hmm. He would spend more money on tax cuts for the wealthiest... Oh, go to hell. You just took money from the wealthiest people in the country, you phony, lying, sellout, pinko bum. Prescription drugs you double-talking, lying... All combined. Eight years we've had you. Now, Eight years I of a lying pig like wrong. you took money from the richest people on earth, including communist China. Who the hell are you saying that he take, that he's going to help the rich, you liar? Things like education and health care. I will put another dollar into middle-class... Tax cuts. Yeah, yeah. Say middle for class every 500 that I times out. Those two categories, I'll put two dollars toward paying down the national debt. I think it's very important to keep the debt going down and completely eliminate it. Mm -hmm. And I also think it's very important mm -hmm. to go to the next stage of welfare reform. Our country has cut the welfare rolls in half. I fought hard from my days in the Senate and as You're a liar. To You're cut a welfare, welfare state pig. Uh, it's only because of the Republicans that we cut the welfare rolls, you bum. Time ...for the next stage of welfare reform but and include fathers and not only mothers. What does that we're mean? We're going to get to a lot of those. Yes, go ahead, Governor. Well, let me just say that uh, obviously tonight we're going to hear some phony numbers about what I think and what we ought to do. Um, people need to know that over the next 10 years there's going to be $25 trillion of revenue that comes into our Treasury. We anticipate yeah. spending $21 trillion. And my plan says, why don't we pass 1.3 trillion of that back to the people who pay the bill? Sure. All right, fine. What will I get? Four dollars. Afford five percent of the 25 trillion dollars that are coming to the treasury to the hard-working people who pay the yeah. bills. There's a yeah, difference. 128 dollars a year I'll get. My opponent thinks the government. Um, it's the, the, the surplus is the government's money. That's not what I think. I think it's the hard-working people in America's money, you. and I want to share some nice of that money life. with you. So you've got more Good money line, to George. build and save and dream for your families. It's a difference of opinion. It's a difference between the government making decisions for you See, buy you and you're getting more of your money to make decisions for yourself. Jim, so wait, thanks. Let me just follow up the, one, one quick question. You're listening to the presidential uh, debates on the Savage Nation. In your experience, do you read it the same way, that he's talking about policy differences only? Yes. I take him for his word. I mean, I look... I, I, I fully recognize I'm not of Washington. I'm from Texas. And he's got a lot of experience, but so do I. And I've been the chief executive officer of the second biggest state in the union. I've had a proud record of working with both Republicans and Democrats, which is what our nation needs. Mm -hmm. We need somebody who can come up to Washington and say, look, let's forget all the politics and all the finger pointing and get some positive things done on Medicare and prescription drugs yeah, and Social Security. And, um, so I take him for his word. Uh, Jim, if I could just, uh, just quick respond. Just need to move on. Yes, sir. I, I, I know that. Uh, the, the governor used the phrase uh, phony numbers. Yeah. But if you, if you look at the plan and add the numbers up, these yeah. numbers are correct. He spends more money for tax cuts for the wealthiest 1%. And there all he goes again. Proposals for George should fire back and say, drugs, there you go again. You just raised money from the fat cats of Hollywood. 
What about Steven Spielberg? Is he wealthy? Then what are you dancing with him every other week in East Hampton and Hollywood? Who the hell are you talking about the rich? That's what I would do. I would go right after him right now. Don't stand there, Bush. Fight back. Come on, get out of the corner. Three and a half minutes is up. New question. See, round one. That's about wealthy people. Uh, <laughs> round one. Governor Bush. But you have a question. This is a companion question to the question I asked. Oh, no, this is Vice one President. Okay. Gore. Round you two. You have a question up. whether Vice President Gore has demonstrated the leadership qualities necessary to be president of the United States. Oh, what sure. you well, here's what I've said. I've said, Jim, I've said um, He's a great man. That eight years ago man. they campaigned on prescription drugs for seniors. And four years ago, they campaigned on getting prescription drugs for seniors. Mm -hmm. And now they're campaigning on getting prescription drugs for seniors. Good point. It seems like they can't get it done. Now, they may You'll blame other done. folks, but it's uh -huh. time to get somebody in Washington who's going to work with both Republicans and Democrats Listen. to get some positive things done when it comes to our seniors. Uh -huh. So there so we have I the Democrat is, Bush. He's going to be a better Democrat than Gore, in other words. For they eight years, Gore has promised it and didn't deliver, but he'll deliver a Democrat message. That's great, George. Plan that says we're going to have immediate help for Why don't you get the white towel and throw it in now? Immediate helping hand of 48 He's on the defensive already. But I also want to say to seniors, if you're happy with Medicare the way it is, fine. You can stay in the program. Yeah. But we're going to give you additional choices, just like... What I like to say to seniors is I'm not paying for your party. I don't owe you a damn prescription drug. You're not taking it out of my pocket. The and greediest generation in history. I'm sick of hearing about the depression. Like I got to pay them for prescription drugs. 19 drugs the each they get. So they go play tiddlywinks in the church bazaar. This year in the I'm year sick of this already with prescription time, drugs. Let's get it done. Once Put them on the ice. And that's what I have been critical about the administration for. Same in Social Security. I think there was a good opportunity to bring Republicans and Democrats together uh -huh. to Here reform the Social Security system so the seniors will never go without. Again, seniors. Those on Social Security. How about they people 20 years money. old who are paying through the but nose? also to give younger workers the option at their choice uh -huh. of being able to manage some of their... For that too? Uh, there's a lot of young workers at our rallies we go to. Uh -huh. That when they hear that I'm going to trust them at their option to be able to manage uh, under certain guidelines some of their own money to get a better rate of return That's so good. that they'll have a retirement plan in the future Set, set it they to begin Peru. to nod their heads and they want a different attitude in washington well that they One do rebuttal. Well, well jim under my plan all seniors will get prescription drugs See, again, under medicare seniors. the governor is uh, here i am sitting medicare here as a government the, the country is in it's moral decay our national security has collapsed under this, this bum. And I'm here listening to whether the seniors are going to get nine or eight prescription drugs out of my hide. I told you it's a waste of time. But go ahead, listen, see if I care. take those choices away from you. Then you go to your own... Oh, I would start booing and throwing chairs into the ring if it was a fight. This is like a non-fight. You never if you're a fighting a sports fan. They start hissing at this point. The chairs start flying. And much better. Here we go. Premium for the elderly. That in the private bunch of bums. Now here's the I got to pay for their prescription drugs. Ninety-five percent of all seniors would get no help you whatsoever do you under hear this? my bonus plan. Fifteen for the first minutes into the most years. important presidential now, debate since the Civil War, Jim, and we're we'll arguing whether to give the oldsters nine or ten prescription drugs for free. But 95 percent of seniors have to Boy, wait. Boy, if I were 20 years old, I'll tell you, I would be jaundiced today. I guess my answer to that is the man's running on Medicare, trying to frighten people in the, in the voting booth. That's just Metascare. not the way, way I they think. They gave him one good line and blew it. And it's not my plan. He had one good line and it was, went over like, like a dead balloon in the Catskill Mountains. Medicare. There have been an opportunity to do so, but this He was a comedian in the, in the South Wallsburg hotels so I worked at. He would have been in the pool the next day. Not only a Medicare plan where the poor seniors were paid for. the delivery was just great. Henny Youngman would have... variety of options. The current system today has meant a lot for a lot of seniors, and I, I really appreciate the, the intentions of the current system. And as I mentioned, if this you're is unbelievable the system, to you me. can stay in it. But there's a lot of procedures. This is beyond belief. Kept up uh, in Medicare. This is so bad that my hemorrhoid is starting to hurt no me. No prescription drugs. This is unbelievable. No it's drug painful. Therapies. There's no preventing medicines. There's no vision care. Every one of my I mean, weak we points is starting to go watching this guy. To help seniors. I have never seen a man squander an opportunity like this in my life. 132,000-page document bureaucracy. 
15 as minutes. Being a compassionate way for seniors. Is seniors. And the only Again, seniors. Source of care for seniors. No borders, no, no language, no culture. I believe we ought to give No patriotism, no family issues, no crime. Seniors, everything's about Grandpa this, Moses here. I know it's going to require a different kind That's of That's what leader. they're arguing over. Grandpa Moses, it's a lie. The, the whole thing is a sham. Let's come together. This is the issue of issues? Vice President, you've been All right, let's take a break. I've had enough of the two sheeple up there.